Hello, MTMS Clubs Executive Board. This is Nathan Brown, your technology officer reporting back after looking and doing some research on radios. Um, here I have something very special for you today. This is a Motorola XPR 3500. I recently uh, acquired this radio off of eBay uh, for a very cheap price, which is why I bought it. I never would have in the first place if it wasn't cheap. Unfortunately, the buyer said it was VHF, which is compatible with MCMS and my home squad. Unfortunately, as you can see right there, that is UHF. So I will be sending this radio back. Uh, but needless, needless to say, it is right in front of me. And I just figured I should give you guys a tour of this radio. Because this is something we might buy in the future. So right, let's power it on. Very loud. Nice. So as you saw on startup, it is part of the Motor Turbo series of radios. I'll do that again for you so you can see. Um, the Motor Turbo radios um, are really special uh, because they are analog and digitally capable, which means that, well, MCMS uses analog radios right now, which, P.S., they suck. <laughs> um, but eventually, uh, and Campus Safety is looking into this, digital radios is something that we will definitely have to be investing in in the future, probably within the next 10 years. Digital radios are better in every, I mean, every way. They're better with transmitting, they're better with receiving. And on top of all that, guess what? Their battery life is far better. So, um, needless to say, it's really, it would be really nice to buy some radios that not only are better for analog, but they're also digitally capable because we will be having to invest in these eventually. So, let's turn this back on. I'll give you a tour of what this guy can do. It's really nice. It's not very big, um, about the same size, about the same size as the HT750, what we're used to, a little bit heavier. Um, I think the build design is actually sturdier on this thing, even though it's a little bit newer. The belt clip is fantastic. The antenna, I mean, obviously, even though it's UHF, it is, like, sturdy. This thing is not breaking like the ones we're used to. Um, so anyways, uh, the channel selector also very good. It clicks very nicely. Um, screen is fantastic. It's just overall very well-built radio. Um, to do a size comparison to my Icom, which I use with my home squad. As you can see, quite a bit smaller. This thing, oh, there it goes. This thing is quite a bit uh, lighter than this as well, but it's still built very well. So let's show you the menu and stuff. Um, go to menu here. You can uh, do different contacts and you can do selective calling, etc., etc. We'll go back. Um, this is also pager capable. I'll talk about that in a minute. Scan mode, you have different options here. You can turn those on, view and edit the list, etc. Very nice because guess what? This doesn't require as much programming. You can do it right here on the screen. Uh, utilities, uh, you can do radio settings, um, etc. Radio info, uh, you get it. See right there are some tones and alerts so you can uh, set up for uh, pager mode. Um, radio info, etc. You get the point. You get the point. So I'm going to go back. Um, all these buttons are programmable. P1 and P2 have not been programmed, which is fine. I mean, I just bought this off eBay, so who cares? And these two buttons, similar to the HD750s, are not programmed. But nice for this guy, this, this one actually is programmed. Scan on, scan off. Very nice. Pretty handy. As you can see, when scan is on, the little LED up here, which is orange, uh, blinks. Very nice. Um, so here's what it sounds like when you transmit. Much better than the loud beep that we're, you know, used to hearing with the HD750s. Um, and also, when it would be in pager mode, let's go to this channel right here. When I go to try to transmit... You get that noise. That means that you can't transmit on this channel, which is exactly what you would want for a pager. You would just want to have the tones go off, and then you would want to switch over to MCMS F1, in this case, talk. But obviously, that would be programmed. Um, so, overall, very nice radio. I'm really impressed with this thing. Um, go ahead and turn it off. Another nice feature of it is it comes with uh, this lithium-ion Impress Motorola battery, which is fantastic. I mean, the battery life in this thing is, I think, 20-plus hours. Um, but not only that, it comes with this brand new uh, Motorola Impress charger, which is far better than the ones we're used to. Um, not only is it beefier in the back, e.g. no more <laughs> no more broken radio cords, but also um, this charger is regenerative, meaning that not only does it charge your battery, but it also uh, restores your battery, meaning that the overall battery life of this radio will be far better than what we're used to with our uh, nickel metal hydride batteries and the HG750s, uh, which sucks. So this thing could last us many years without having to replace any antennas, any batteries. Overall, fantastic. Um, also comes with a dust cover. We wouldn't have to purchase those anymore. Uh, the cords are beefier. I mean, this radio is just awesome. Love it. 
Uh, really bummed that it is UHF. I'll be sending it back to the manufacturer. Uh, but overall, I mean, this thing is great. If you have any questions for me, please let me know. But this would not, this would be perfect for what we would need because it is analog and digitally capable. It has pager capability. And heck, it has a screen. I mean, that's awesome. So anyways, let me know if you have any questions.